extending the play with the clock winding down. He's going to heave one. A jump ball in the back of the end zone. Is it caught by Ross? And is for a touchdown. Hooker. Showing that running Ooh, ability. Ball's Close out. Wake Forest recovers. You know, this will be a, a, a big challenge for us. And we knew, we knew for a while. I've been, I've been having this one in my mind for a while. Uh, because, again, I've, I've been watching them uh, for four different opponents. And uh, so I've just seen them a lot on both sides. I feel like I know more about uh, Wake Forest than any team we've played all year. Another flag down, goes to the end zone. Touchdown, Surratt. Newman rolling out, throwing, and it's a touchdown again for Frudenthal. Everything starts with this quarterback. He is a really good player. He's a pro. He is big, he's accurate, he's a physical uh, runner. These are probably this is probably the best group of receivers that we've played. And number two is 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 the most elusive. He's a very good route runner. He creates separation. Uh, you know, as good as anybody we've played. He... Fake to King. Pressure comes. Hooker's going to go down. Gap to run through 40. Fumbles the football. It's going to be picked up by Wake Forest. They've created a lot of turnovers. Uh, as well. They're, we're plus nine in the turnover margin. They're plus seven. Uh, so they've done a really good job. I think that's they've won some close games, and that's been the difference in a couple of those games. Lawrence is looking to go up top. This is receiver. Score! They're the number one offense in the ACC. Uh, they're averaging you know, over 45 points a game, about 550 yards. Um, a lot of times you'd say it starts with the quarterback. You could say it's any one of their players it starts with. Uh, obviously, Lawrence is an extremely gifted quarterback. Um, if he was immobile, he'd still be great. This might be the best collection of receivers that we've ever faced. Now, Travis Entienne, is, he's up there. He's a tremendous skill. But the difference with Clemson in, in years past, and I said this a year ago, is just how good their offensive line is. I think collectively, this is probably the best offense that we've ever faced. Defensively, uh, you know, with Clemson every year, you look at who they're gonna graduate and you have a little bit of hope, and then you watch the film, and uh, you know, they're number one in the ACC in defense. They're giving up 11 and a half points a game. We're gonna go down to a, a great environment, um, but you know, our players are up for the challenge. We know what's in front of us, and uh, we're excited about it. This is one of those games you can never, ever relax. For us, it's just about sending these seniors out with a win and uh, getting an 11th win and you know closing up Death Valley in a really positive way for, for the year and uh, continuing to build momentum uh, in our postseason.